What's up, people? Thunder Bay personal trainer here, Logan Blake. We're talking push-ups today. We're doing some shoulder taps here. It's a first variation. Uh, we don't show the regular push-up in this video because it's if you're looking up push-up variations, you should already know what a regular push-up looks like. So uh, just the basics here. Push-ups involve shoulders, the the front of the shoulders, the posterior deltoids, the tri or sorry, the anterior deltoids, the uh, triceps, and the chest. Uh, just same muscles basically. If you were doing bench press, bench press, you could add more weight. Push-ups, you could add more weight too, which is what variations are all about. Depending if you do an incline push-ups or a decline or one arm, you're adding more weight. You're changing the angles, and uh, it's going to hit the muscle in different ways and with maybe more weight. And you'll make progress the more weight you add and the more reps you add, the more loads, the more sets things like that so we're on doing some blast offs here uh, just uh, all different types of push-ups 25 of them all together here there's a uh, one arm one leg now that's pretty dangerous that one don't try that one at home unless you are a uh, certified push-up master and uh, you know along with push-ups or uh, bench press you want to do some back movements so you want to do uh, some rows and some deadlifts and you also want to do some pull downs or chin ups or pull ups uh, you want to do compound movements that recruit the most muscles so you want to recruit the biceps and all the back muscles traps uh, rhomboids you know lats all that stuff um, you, uh, you don't want to just do isolation movements all the time. You don't want to do curls all the time, and you don't want to do skull crushers and and just like uh, you know tricep extensions and just moves that hit one tiny muscle group. You want to hit uh, a whole lot of muscle groups because you're going to be a more functional, more natural moving human being uh, if you you know recruit more muscle groups and compound movements than just blasting your biceps. You know just to get big biceps and you're all out of proportion, weird looking dude with just biceps and small everything else, right? So along with uh, back movements movements and push-ups and bench press. You also want to do some overhead pressing which uh, involves the medial deltoids and you uh, you also recruit some triceps uh, so do some OHPs or some military pressing they call it and you could use barbells or dumbbells you know uh, when you use the free weights it's you use your uh, stabilizer muscles the uh, the fast twitch and the slow twitch muscles when you're using free weights right so you're recruiting more muscles with compound movements and free weights because you have to balance the muscles it takes a lot more more coordination everything's uh, greater when you use free weights and compound movement so along with that of course you want to do legs you want to do legs too and great things for legs I already mentioned deadlifts you could do conventional deadlifts you could do sumo deadlifts and also you want to do some squats so deadlifts are going to hit the hamstrings and the back of the legs basically and the glutes and the uh, your back and uh, there's deadlifts is basically the best exercise because it hits the most muscle groups but the second best exercise I would say is squats because you're using the whole posterior chain along with the quads and the glutes and you want to make sure that you're hitting depth when you do your squats right you want to go parallel or beyond whatever feels comfortable for you so don't start up in the weight and uh, being a gym hero with a big ego trying to do crazy heavy squats and hurt yourself until you've learned the depth how to get depth and how to be a functional human Human being because that's what life's all about right you want to be able to squat down and get off a couch or a toilet or a bed or whatever when you're older and you don't want to have assisted living and somebody helping you in a hospital you want to be able to squat yourself so it's good to learn young it's good to get those muscles going when you're young because when as you get older if you've never worked out by the time you hit like you know 60 years old you're gonna lose like 80 percent of your muscles if you've never even used your muscles right they'll just be gone and they'll wither away so start 
while you're young and make it a routine. Make it a routine to go to the gym consistently, right? Oh, we're doing some clapping push-ups here. One, two, three, four. Now we're doing some fly push-ups. These ones are kind of awkward. I don't really, I'm, a lot of these push-ups are just for show to show you what you can do. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't really do these on a, uh, a regular basis. Like, uh, this one's kind of weird here. They're all kind of weird, you know, just to stick to, uh, conventional push-ups maybe some diamond push-ups and like you know some bench press and and do some decline and some incline and all that type of stuff dumbbells barbells mix it up anyways this i think this is the last one here the shuttle push-ups have a good day everybody and i will see you in the next video peace out